This story of Sundi Ataketa and his journey to self-realization and accepting his role and responsibility as a king, it's a real story of a real king from Africa. There was a prediction that he would be born and that he would bring his people out of oppression. I have heard it since I was little. At the school, we learn about, about that story. It's good for me now to go inside and see the detail. It means a lot, a lot for me. Owari was invented by hunters. I am a warrior king, a hunter king. Therefore, I will destroy you at this game. Working with Raymond and Kwame Sereba really lifts the whole energy of the story. The traditional African call that sings in my heart, they answer it, so that's why I like working with them. Suma Urukante was known as the Sorcerer King because they say that he used juju, fetishes, magic to hold on to power. What John feel about that situation here? We try to make the sound of it, the situation, and become sometimes a song, and sometimes not just a song, it's, it's uh, sound too. He pushed open the door and saw their balafasake playing, playing, playing that bellafon as though his life depended on it. His life did depend on it. Usually it's just the three of us singing together. But when you have many voices, suddenly it's like you're part of the village. You call it choir. For me, as singers, singing people. People are there, they're singing with us. And then it puts me, it puts me already in that kind of feeling. I like that feeling that, wow, we are together. So that's what I feel here. When we sing, I forget then, uh, then we are on stage. I just have to stand up, I just have to dance around. It's such a powerful piece in that it opens your imagination, teaches you as well, and you get to see these fabulous instruments that you don't see on a day-to-day -day basis. Awesome, awesome. I think it's a great thing to just kind of portray the West African culture, you know, pre-slavery, you know, when so many of these stories have existed for thousands of years, you know, it's not being told to current generations, especially in the UK. Oh, I think it's absolutely brilliant. She is such a force, <laughs> a force of life, and uh, she tells the story so brilliantly. It felt like it was a, a very old tradition being revived, you know what I mean? You could imagine being sat around a like campfire or something and somebody telling these kind of stories with singing. It was, it was really magical.